Does eating a late meal also push back your time of wanting to go to sleep or is there no correlation there? No, there actually is a correlation. It's a, it's a very astute observation actually, which is you can have one type of biological chronotype predilection, mm -hmm. but you can almost violate that biology and override some of it by creating sort of certain conditions under which it will distort your natural rhythm. One way that this rhythm is played out is the release of something called melatonin. And melatonin is a naturally occurring hormone, and it simply tells your brain and your body when it is darkness, when it is night, which is to say melatonin helps with the timing of our sleep. And there are ways that you can artificially delay your, mel your natural melatonin release. A good one would be being exposed to too much light in the evening, too much artificial light, what I would think of as junk light. You know, there was this concept a while back of junk DNA. Well, I think there is something called junk light and we get too much of it at night because we are a dark deprived society in this modern era. But there's other ways that you can delay your natural biology and if let's say that all food was taken away, all electric light was gone, all internet service was down and you know the lights were out, you would naturally say to me, well, I'm someone who would probably not get sleepy until midnight. And then all of a sudden, as I said, no food, electromagnetic pulse takes out all electricity, everything is gone. All of a sudden you'd probably say, gosh, it's 10, 15 PM. I actually feel quite sleepy. And it's because modernity through all of its changes, light, social media, you know, sort of entertainment that we're constantly exposed to, it's dislocated us from our natural sensation of biology telling us it's time to sleep. Mm -hmm. Most of us think that, well, I'm probably, you know, a midnight to 8 a.m. type person. When if I took you camping in the Sierras for two weeks, and we had all of our sort of fancy technology measuring your sleep-wake rhythms, we would actually find, you know, you're much closer to a, a 1020 to 630 AM kind of person. Modern sort of industrial life has come in the way of that, and it has modified our perception.